Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? Today's video, I want to talk about the Chicago Tylenol murders. A series of murders that took place in 1982 caused by poison inside of Tylenol capsules, which changed the way we consume over-the-counter drugs. But before we get started, I want to say my Twitter is linked in the corner along down in the description. If you like this video, hit that like button. Also share it with your friends to see if they know about the Chicago murders. I do want to add a disclaimer that this video is for entertainment and informational purposes only and not to harm anyone or any industry in any way. In 1982, Chicago, Illinois was terrorized by the fear of taking over-the-counter drugs, Tylenol by Johnson & Johnson resulting in seven deaths and one being a 12-year-old child. Extra strength Tylenol capsules laced with a cyanide are linked with five deaths in Chicago. Till this day, no one has ever been charged or convicted for these murders. Everyone was a suspect from juveniles all the way to people that worked in the stock market industries. September 29, 1982, 12-year-old Mary Keenan stayed home that day from school for feeling sick. She took some Tylenol to help her feel better to later be found on the bathroom floor by her parents, and then later to be pronounced deceased at Alexian Medical Center. Later that day, 27-year-old Adams Johns was the next victim of this poisonous drug, along with Mary Rainier, Mary McFarland, Paula Jean Prince, Stanley, and Teresa Juanes over the next few days. And I apologize if I said any name or last name wrong in that list. So back in the 80s, over-counter drugs were not well protected. All it had was the bottle, the label, cotton, and the pills. That's it. Oh, and the cap. That means whoever did this went and took every bottle and every pill out of the bottles and put cyanide inside the pills and put them back together and put them back on the shelf. They were able to prove that the poison was not put in the capsules at the factory, but later on after they were shipped at least one supermarket in Chicago that the best they can figure someone injected cyanide into the tablets. Someone was planning to murder tons and tons of people. This caused mass panic. The police and government officials were driving down the street with blow horns telling everybody to throw the bottles of Tylenol away. Don't use them. Don't take them. Put them in the trash. Johnson Johnson had all the bottles recalled. That's 31 million bottles, adding up to $100 million worth of products and capsules and pills. The hospitals were flooded with people checking themselves in, calling in, in fear of being poisoned by these deadly capsules. Uh, we've been receiving calls uh, about once every 15 seconds. At the Rush Presbyterian St. Luke's, we only have three poison lines, and they're lit up constantly ever since yesterday morning. This changed the packaging of over-the-counter drugs before they were being bought. Cotton still in the bottles, but with peel tabs underneath the caps, along with tightening caps and shrink wrap sealed plastic covers around the caps, keeping the bottle sealed tightly until you open it yourself after you purchased it. With labels written on the bottles stating do not consume if the packaging has been tampered with, if any wrappers have been removed, or any puncture marks in the bottle or around the bottle. And in 1986, this led to a copycat in New York and Washington State leading to three deaths, one in New York and two in Washington State. And then along with recall of Proctals and Gambles in Chicago and Detroit. Thankfully, this one was just a hoax and no one got harmed, but still they were on top of their game and able to recall anything. Even if it wasn't a hoax, they were on the ball this time. So pay attention to everything you take, prescriptions, even from doctors that are handwritten. Over-the-counter drugs can be dangerous and if too much can cause an overdose. Read all your warning labels and take every precaution. If it's just hot and on, it says do not mix alcohol, do not mix with alcohol. Until the next video, peace guys.